Hello, my friends, and welcome to Vintage Story 1.19.5 Stable. This is Modded Vintage Story, and I've been attempting to more or less rebuild my mod list from my 1.18.5 playthrough, which I unfortunately lost. At first, I thought it was just a corrupt file, but eventually learned it was a bad hard drive, and I lost the saves on so many games. Oh, my God. Um, but what we're going to do is go to the mod manager, and we're just going to real quick run through the mods. There are some new mods that are great additions for 119.5 and many of our old standbys. So we've got ancient tools, which gives us the adds and gives us the ability to split wood into planks using wedges and hammers. We've got animal cages for catching animals. We've got bed respawning. I don't know if it's going to work or not. We're going to find out. Better fire pit just keeps the temperature at the same level when we've got a fire burning and we're cooking batches of food instead of it going down to zero in between batches during the same burn. We've got better ruins, which now has over 380 ruins it's fantastic better sticks is is a uh, new mod that does the same as an old mod which is creating sticks from firewood we have um, better traders of course which gives us uh, vanilla trader traders with new structures we have the carry on mod which allows us to carry items we have cats and wolves that are tameable tameable dana tweaks um is a compilation of a bunch of the mods that i used to use actually uh that like allows us to hang our fire starter up on a rack put a pot on a shelf and some other things like that um and there is a config where you can turn the things on and off so like glowing arrows i don't need glowing arrows um Debarked logs into firewood. This is another new one. It just means that if we've taken the bark off of logs, instead of them being stuck basically as that, we can turn them into firewood. Decor Bazaar is also new. Gives us a bunch of kitchen cabinets and bathroom stuff and some new stoves and things like that. And it's, it kind of reminds me of Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod for Minecraft. DR Braziers, of course, gives us... Our, our braziers, it's the same mod we used to use. Early chiseling is a bringing together of two older mods, the stone chisel mod and the hammer mod that basically allowed us to do early game chiseling. We have entities interact. This is new. Basically, it causes animals to behave towards each other the way that they would in the real world. So predators hunt prey, prey run from predators, etc., we have Fancy Sky, gives us a proper sun, moon, and skybox. We have the Fantasy Creatures mod, um, which uh, I'm hoping will work. It should give us uh, goblins and orcs and dragons and things. We have Feverstone's Rideable Horses. We have the Fishing mod, which I'm hoping is going to work. Fixed Paths, uh, which takes care of some problems with using path blocks and making stairs. We have the fauna mods. We have uh, fauna of the Stone Age canines, panther family, and also a new one that we've added, which is manatees and dugongs. Giant Garami, this is 118. I hope it will work. We have hanging baskets, hanging oil lamps. Herbarium is the new code base for the Wildcraft mods, the old Wildcraft mods have been discontinued, and they're now using Herbarium as a code base and doing modules. And unfortunately, um, currently, I don't think we're going to have our Thule or our Hard Sedge, but we'll just have to wait and see. The HUD clock, of course, that we always have up in the corner, Joy of Sailing, gives us sailboats and sail rafts, a knife mold. Creatures and critters should give us all our elephants and zebras and little bugs and things like that. It's also 118, and I really hope it works. Uh, linen tunic recipe. The linen tunic, is I, I think it's a neat-looking piece of, of clothing, but there's not a recipe for it in the game, so that adds it in. A new mod we're adding is a mannequin mod that allows us to display armor and clothing. We have the medieval expansion, which of course gives us braziers and portcullises and other medieval content. More animals that gives us some new birds. Um, more torch holders allows us to make the torch holders out of more materials. In, instead of just brass, we can make it out of other stuff. Uh, we have some 118 mods that I'm really hoping are going to work. Uh, the North American catfish, darters, and ornamental fish. 
the Outlaw Mod, which that one I know for sure works. Uh, Peacock Basses, that's 118, will be hopeful. Um, pipe Leaf, which is a new mod that allows you to create a pipe and to smoke various herbs to get buffs and bonuses. Um, we have Primitive Survival. Cannot have a game of Vintage Story without Primitive Survival mod in. And this is a new addition that I am tremendously excited about. The Rivers mod gives us flowing rivers in Vintage Story. Man, am I excited to see what these rivers are like. We've got a saltwater bug fix, which just uh, ensures that uh, plants are placed properly, seaweed growing in, in salt water, and, uh, you know, like freshwater water weeds in freshwater. Something in the water gives us some sharks and uh, um, ocean sunfish, big old crazy flat paddle looking things, as well as uh, some jellyfish. Stone railings for our stone stairs, tallow candles so we can make candles out of fat. The dungeon, which of course gives us uh, procedurally generated underground dungeons. True sunfishes, which again is 118. I hope it works. Still useful stuff. Uh, this is uh, the the sluice and bamboo hats and a bunch of other stuff. It's been ongoing for quite some time. Um, let's see here. VS Quest, which we are using in conjunction with VS Village. So we have villages and villagers. Um, Alpha Weapons Pack, which gives us lots of fun and interesting weapons to add and here are the new wildcraft modules so fruits and nuts herbs and spices trees and shrubs there's our wolf taming the workbench expansion is going to allow us to duplicate chiseled blocks and then a zoom button so that's what we've got in our currently rebuilt mod list there's a couple of things that we're missing in there and a few things that i'm just not sure whether or not they're going to work we'll just have to wait and see but I did load up a map and played long enough to see that things were not crashing, number one. And number two, that a lot of these mods are definitely working and working well. So we're going to hit single player. Um, this is the test world I did. I'm just going to delete that. Confirm. And let's create new world. We're going to click on standard till we get something that says Delacaba. And there it is. We're going to customize. Let's run through this quick. We are going to be playing survival. We're going to leave everything the same here except for grace timer. We want three days before monsters appears. Um, the timer for dropped items is going to be one hour real time. Seasons are enabled. Lung capacity we are going to bring up to two minutes because a healthy person can hold their breath for two minutes. Days per month, we're going to bring that up to 30, because you know I like my realistic time frame. Uh, block gravity, all of that. Um, you know, I'm going to turn on allow underground farming, just because uh, creative hostility, aggressive. Um, player health points, we're going to max that out at 35. Hunger rate, we're going to reduce to 50%. Um Let's see, food, spoilage, tree sapling growth, tool durability, uh, micro block chiseling. We're going to switch that to most cubic blocks. Uh, color accurate world map. We're going to leave the lore content on. Uh, clutter obtainable only if first repaired using glue. I'm going to leave that in because that's something new since 118.5, and I'm curious to see how it functions. Um, gives us reasons to go back to places that we have investigated. We're going to turn off temporal stability. I hate that mechanic. I don't know why it's in the game. Kill it, kill it dead with fire. Um, though we are going to leave on temporal rifts for the ambiance. They kind of help us know how high the temporal activity is and therefore how many drifters are going to be spawning. Uh, world generation, we're going to leave climate distribution to realistic. Land cover is at 100%. I'm going to swap that to 80% so we do get some oceans. Um, we're going to leave upheaval rate normal. Geological activity rare. Landform scale, all that's the same. World width and, and length, we're going to leave at 1 million blocks. We're going to set the world edge so we can't fall off. 
but we're going to set the polar equator distance to 400K. So that means there will be a 100K band of equator. Um, we're going to leave everything normal there for station and shrubs. We're going to increase our trees by 25%. Surface copper, we're going to change from rare to uncommon. And um, surface tin, we're going to change from extremely rare to rare. Snow and ice will be enabled. We do not need land claiming. We do not need class exclusive recipes. And we do not need the auction house apply and create world. I will be back when the world has been created. Alrighty, so here we are. Let's see if we can recreate Delagaba. So get our skin color. Normally we want our dreadlocks. For our hair extra, we want our dreadlocks tied up and back. Where are you dreadlocks tied up and back? Tied dreads, there we go. For our mustache, we of course want the fat walrus. Is it the fat walrus? Hang on. It's not neat walrus. It's not whisk room. It's not seagull. Yeah, I think I think it is fat walrus. And then of course we want the biggest beard we can have, shaggy full. There we go, get the correct color to it. There we are, that's me. We do not need two-piece underwear. And Saks Medium will do. We're going to go to class. We're gonna be commoner since we don't have class-specific recipes. All right. Where in the world we are? Let's take a look at the map. Oh, we're in a fairly decent area here. We got water there. My first priority is going to be to try to find a river. So we're going to want to travel that direction, I guess. Maybe, yeah, roughly that way. Let's get through this stuff. Hopefully we don't run into wolves immediately. I really hope the uh, respawn mod is working. I uh, hear a feral dog. Our outlaw mod is working. We got foxes, so the so the mod for canines is working. That's for sure. Oh, bear! Wow, boy, did we come in a hot spot. Just keep running. <laughs> Jump, go, drop down here. Whew. Yowza. Where the heck are we? Okay, I'm going to keep heading south. I think those are just cliffs. Yeah. Let's see if we can get down here without breaking our face. Hey, there we go. Pick those up. Oh, sneaky. Oh, yeah, that wasn't good. Slate. Slate is too soft to make tools. Hello, little worm.
Okay. Hand breaking cattails takes a long time, but getting some extra room would be a good thing. So we'll we'll break ten of them. That'll get us at least one basket. Oh, soft sedge is food. It's not a lot of food, but it's food. Fill our belly. go we can make one basket with 10 and will get us a little more storage but we need to find some flint plenty of sticks that's a good thing we need flint I can come up with some flint, make a knife, and then we can cut cattails really fast. Flint. Hello, Flint. We'll have to pick up a rock so that we can uh, nap the flint. Oh, there's some more. Good, good. Frickin' bears, wow. So wildlife is definitely here. Hey, we got fishes. And, oh, we got crayfish. That means that uh, our main animal mod is working. That's fantastic. All right. Knife. Knife, 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 knife. be able to cut this stuff fast so much faster
There we go, that's a bit better. Axe and spear. Keep your distance, little fox. I will stab you in your little fox face. The foxes, if you get too close to them, they will attack you. What is this? A dead snail. I don't need a dead snail. At least, as far as I know, I don't need a dead snail. See, that's exactly what I was just talking about. That's right, run you little bastard. All right, check the map. I wanna go south. We're looking for a river. I wanna get out of this area. I don't like the fact that we're running into multiple bears here. And you run too, little fox. Young chestnut tree, huh? Fire clay. Stump. Elderberry. All right, so we're to the southern edge of things, huh? So unfortunately, no river yet. It's all gravelly and deserty up that way. So far, I haven't seen any of our um, fish from our mods. That's a little concerning. Our zoom works. That makes me happy. A few bits and bobs there.
a lot of foxes. This is certainly prime fox territory, no doubt about that. Okay. Gonna have to watch out, that is poison oak. Yeah, maybe too many foxes. Don't even get your uppity on with me, little fox. This spear is pointy. blind. Here's finally some more grass. Got to get enough to make a bed so I can find out whether our mod that sets spawn points to beds works or not. Alright, let's get a look at the map. Yeah, okay. So, what is that right there? I don't know. Um, do I really want to swim for it? We could take the time to try to make a raft, but we'd have to have materials for rope. Let's see. Yeah, because we can make cordage out of grass. We'd have to cut a tree. the heck I'm sure we can make cartage out of grass hmm Vines. Apparently no longer. Okay. We used to be able to make cordage out of grass in the uh, primitive survival mod, but apparently that is no longer the case. I don't see any sharks. Mezzerian, burning bush. This is not going to be very fast, but... I 
going to get out here and see a river, damn it. Of course, the sun's going to set soon. I guess I'll swim towards the sunset. As long as we don't get bare bit, we should be all right. Yeah, definitely don't want to do that again. and it's so dark that I cannot tell I know there's a tree here yeah okay not sure what kind of canine that was but not, can't fight it in the dark. And actually, this is all brush. None of these are trees. Hmm. Wow, yeah, it is dark now. Holy cats. Take a look at the map. Get at least some sense. Are you freaking kidding me? I think he's following me. I honestly think he is following me. He is. Ride in white. All right, so place some grass there. Are we going to be able to make firewood out of that? Yes, okay. It's just enough to get the fire going. Got to make a fire starter. And let's get a couple of torches made.
And we got some willow leaves. You know, this impresses me a great deal. A lot of people have been trained in survival and a lot of people have learned about survival, but very few people are aware that willow leaves are edible. Now, you don't want to eat too many of them because they uh, contain small amounts of salicylic acid, which is aspirin. And it will thin your blood. All right. At least we've got light. I don't see any sign of whatever it is that's been growling at us. All right, well, let's eat our soft sedge. Hopefully, there will be a river here, but I'm going to hunker down, and I'll be back when morning comes or all hell breaks loose. <laughs> 